Well, hey everybody, we are here once again with Jim Wood at Antlers Fireside Grill. We're here in Canadian Lakes, and Jim, it is that time of year. Actually, we've taped a couple rabbit hunts, and we're gonna do a rabbit recipe. How are we gonna do this today? So this is a braised rabbit ragu. It's be served okay. over fettuccine. So this is a very simplistic dish. Um, this is kind of my interpretation on a very popular uh, Italian dish because the rabbit is big in Italy. Huh, okay, and now our rabbits, I mean, I've done a little bit. We've done a few recipes over the years. Pretty easy to work with, not so much. What do you think? Well, you gotta cook them slow. Okay. So basically, you know, they're really good for braises, um, sausages, things of that nature. Okay, well, how do we get started here? Oh, we're just gonna get our pan going. You guys ever do a rabbit dish here at the... Yeah. You do, okay. Yeah, we've done a lot of different rabbit dishes. So we're just going to put a little salt on it. And we're just looking to give it a good brown sear. Once both sides of the rabbit are brown, remove it from the heat, and in the same pan, add in your onion, carrots, celery, and bacon. Once the vegetables and bacon have cooked down, Add in a little brown sugar, garlic, and some white wine. All right, how do we finish this sauce off? Or so what we've we reduced the wine. Okay, put those back in. And add our rabbit legs back in. This is rabbit stock that I actually made last night. Roasted nice. rabbit stock. You don't have to use rabbit stock, you can use chicken stock, but if you have the time to make roasted rabbit stock, it's worth it. It's eh? worth it. Hmm. Good to know. And then we've got some rosemary, some thyme, and a bay leaf. Hmm. And then we're gonna add some tomatoes here. And not all canned tomatoes are created equal, that's for sure. So okay. at, when this dish is done, you're clearly gonna wanna taste this first because you might have to add a bit of sugar hmm. depending on the type of tomato you've used. So that's just tomato paste? No, these are just crushed tomatoes, crushed canned tomatoes, crushed tomatoes. Okay. So and then will you put a top on this and put it in the oven or let it? So I'm going to put this in a different pan and cover it with tin foil and cover it with braise tinfoil. it in the oven. Um, so like 350 for? Yeah, 350 degrees. I mean, it, it all depends on what you're cooking. I mean, you can do this with squirrel. You mm. can do this with pheasant. Squirrel or pheasant, I'd say, you know, hour, hour and a half. Oh. A rabbit, right around two hours. Okay, Jim, so we just took this out of the oven and what else, what did you do to it? So we pulled all the, the herbs out. Okay. Um, and then we took the rabbit right off the bone, and just kind of shredded it. Okay. All right, then you're gonna add, I mean, depending on how many portions you want. You know, I'm gonna do one big portion right now, basically. And while that's warming up, we actually take an orange hmm. and we'll throw a little orange zest in there. Okay. And that rabbit's nice and tender then. Uh, oh yeah, it's fall apart, yep. Hmm. And you can smell the orange zest now. It kind of just makes the whole dish kind of pop. And we're gonna add the pasta right to the pan there. And any kind of pasta you want, pretty much? Yeah, and, and honestly, you don't have to use pasta. You could serve this over like cheese grits or hmm. polenta. I mean, even really mashed potatoes if you wanted. Okay. And what's the name of this dish? This is braised rabbit ragu. 